What's up, y'all? This is The Curious One, and we're going to talk about the uh, last figure in the newest wave of G.I. Joe Classified series, and it's going to be the Cobra Commander. Um, I've mentioned this in the other two uh, videos, but some asshole decided he was going to steal my package off of my porch, and... Uh, Luckily, Big Bad Toy Store decided to work with me and actually gave me an, a, a full refund so that I could repurchase these figures and uh, get them. I, of course, had them shipped to a more secure location so that I wouldn't have a repeat of that situation. Um, I really appreciate the people at Big Bad Toy Store for understanding and um, working with me. Uh, Please go give them your support. I'll try to leave a link for them uh, down in the description below. So you have some uh, nice artwork on the right side. A little bit more cartoony than some of the, uh, the artwork that we see on some of the boxes. Um, some of it is a little bit more realistic. Some of it is a little bit more comic bush bookish. Uh, I'm going to say this one's a little... cartoonish uh, but still very nice I do like the art a lot the same art that we've gotten on uh, the other boxes I'm actually hoping that they uh, re-release the Baroness uh, without the motorcycle because I really do want that figure um, but it was an exclusive and I just didn't get around to going to get it in it and I really don't want to purchase it on eBay because it's going for a price higher than what I'm willing to pay but I really do want the bareness so I'm hoping that they will re-release her um, non-exclusive just the figure itself please do that Hasbro so on the left side we got the Cobra we got Cobra Commander we got a number six G.I. Joe got the icons um, if you want to know what they mean you can go to the official G.I. Joe website and uh they're all listed there. Um, I'm going to just guess uh, general, uh, something about small arms probably, uh, brain power, and uh, puppet master. So on the top we got a cobra and we got a number six. On the bottom we got the legalese. So let's go ahead and crack this open and uh, see what all is inside there. So of course you get the uh, the Cobra insert that comes with all of the Cobra figures. Um, said it before, if you want to, you can use this as a backdrop or uh, maybe cut it out, use it as some type of, um, like, I don't know, uh, just hang it on the wall or whatnot. I don't know, it looks nice. Um, if you're buying a Joe, then you're gonna get the Joe insert. If you're buying a Cobra, you're gonna get the Cobra insert. So normally with these figures, I do a shake test because um, I've noticed that there's a lot of loose joints on some of these figures. Um, his ab crunch is not too bad, but as you can see, there is a little bit of play in it. Um, and here at this thigh swivel is extremely loose. At the boot cut right here is extremely loose and the ankles are very loose. Um, but it's a very nice looking figure. I do really enjoy it. Um, it does keep with the original. Does look very, well, not the original. The original was the hooded, I believe. And then they later came out with the, uh, helmeted version. But as far as original, as in the original Joe's so ugly um yeah it it does keep up with that i think it looks very good not really sure why they chose to um extend this side of the helmet out 
and then make the side of the helmet short. It just kind of makes it, I don't know, a little awkward looking. Um, I probably would have done that differently where it's me that made it. So this figure comes with uh, four accessories. One is going to be what looks like a muzzle loading pistol the cover handle all done in silver um, I would have liked to seen some paint apps on this I think it would have looked a lot better had they I don't know maybe put some gold maybe if they made the snake the snakes in the in the handle gold and everything else silver um, I think it would have just made it pop a little bit more make it look nicer uh, now this is just the regular uh, release I chose not to try to chase down the light blue uh, exclusive one with the more gold just because I don't need two Cobra Commanders and then it was an exclusive and I just don't really like it when they do exclusives and I got to try to chase them down or else buy them for three times the price on eBay like I'm, I'm just not doing that and Hasbro you should you should definitely just stop doing that um I may paint this if one day I'm bored and I don't have anything better to do or I just need uh, to keep my hands and my mind busy. Um, but it's not likely. I probably will not. So as you can see, the gun does fit in his hand. Uh, the second accessory is going to be his machete styled, I don't know, extremely short sword. But it also has a Cobra uh, handle and it does actually have uh, some gold painted on there. It looks very nice. I like it. Alright, and it fits in the sheath fairly well. I think they could have made the sheath a little bit deeper so that you're not actually seeing the silver part that just the Cobra is sticking out. But it's whatever, man. Um, Another accessory is going to be a pointing finger, which is going to go on the, the right hand, which kind of igno uh, annoys me because he can't hold his weapons in his left hand. It's kind of like a, just like, uh, I'm angry style hand, you know what I mean? So the only trigger finger or weapon gripping hand is going to be on the right side and this is a right hand I would like to be able to pose him where he's got his pistol in one hand and he's pointing like you know attack or whatnot with the other hand uh, it's not going to happen the other uh, accessory is a closed fist and that's going to be for your left hand so you could do a pointing finger with a closed fist or with the uh, uh, hand, but you can't have him holding a weapon and also directing the troops at the same time, which really sucks. Uh, I wish they would have given us a um, the pointer finger either as a left hand or a uh, also a weapon holding hand you know what I mean like as a another accessory so that you could have him maybe holding a pistol with his left hand and uh, pointing with his right uh, the other thing I'd, I I kind of wish was that there was some type of holster that the pistol could go in maybe like a like like a leg drop holster here would have been nice um, But overall, I really do like it. Um, I do wish that the uh, joints were tighter. I believe there's a trick using some type, like floor wax or something, that I could probably do. I have to look it up and see um, what I need to do in order to to tighten up those joints. But. Um, Another thing that I've noticed is uh, the sleeves are going to kind of inhibit your um, the movement of your hands a little bit. Uh, 
what else? The shoulder pad inhibits the the movement of this arm. Um, you do have butterfly joints in there. Um, the neck joint, most of the GI Joes, they have the uh, the ball joint on the neck, and then they also have another joint down here where it meets the chest, and that doesn't seem to like do very much here. You're really not getting. You're getting almost like you're getting very little head movement with this one. But you do still have the butterfly joints. You still have um, all the same articulation, pretty much. Um, uh, this and his cape are a separate piece, so you could actually take that off if you wished. Um, I have seen sellers on eBay selling custom heads for this figure. So if you like the hooded look um, more than the helmeted look, yeah, see how loose that fucking ankle is? Jesus Christ, this whole, like everything on this leg is really loose. Pisses me off. Um, so if you like the hooded look more, you can uh, go on to eBay and you can find a custom hooded helmet. Or I mean a custom custom hooded head and just pop this head off of there and boom you got a hooded Cobra Commander um, what else do we gotta say about this guy I think that's about it um, trying to keep this one kind of short uh, so yeah y'all have a good night try to take it easy and uh, stay out of trouble I Right as y'all. Peace.